this video we will demonstrate a quick knee examination in a clinical setting often it is difficult to ask the patient to jump up on the couch and so it is a very handy way of doing it also it has an advantage you can test patellofemoral joint in different degrees of flexion so you can precisely say which part of the patellofemoral joint is damaged i push it and see whether the patient winces if he winces there is a posterior capsular tightness well there is a little bit some right so he will tell you i have a posterior capsular tightness and i can make out whether there is any deformity or not then i put another thigh in, in this and i can bend the knee as much as i like by controlling my two thighs right hmm. the benefit is then i can examine the patellofemoral joint in different degree of flexion i can keep flexing i can keep checking i can keep flexing and keep checking Something that I can't do when he's lying down, and he will do it himself, which will actually tighten his muscle. And I don't want him to tighten his muscle. That is the best way of relaxing him. So I'm palpating the patellofemoral joint in different degree. And next is very important, flexion. So I ask him to hold it here, and I keep my finger here to feel. Bend the knee, bend the knee, extend the knee, and I know he's doing that way, and I can feel the capsule bend, bend. So active, you can also check. Bend, and then again bend the knee like this, and feel for 10 minutes. Patient is relaxed. Most important is he's relaxed. Which normally people cannot relax when you make them lie down there. So I can feel for 10 minutes everywhere. I can feel back everywhere. So just now I'm doing. And I can check for fluid like this. There's any fluid? There's no fluid. Right now, only difficulty is checking the ligaments. That's sometimes not so useful. But if you're suspecting a ligament, then only. But even medial, I can check. Lateral, I can check. And A B. I can bend the knee, see if there's any posterior side. Almost all the knee examination can be done with the patient sitting rather than lying, hmm. which is very often very difficult to make them lie down there. Thank you.